some of the enthusiasm, blind faith that comes with being young. You know, when you've got nothing, you got nothing to lose, so let's go try. Thank you very much for the patience that you've given there us. There was certainly an atmosphere of, yes, we were on to something. We're going to go change this industry. One of our, uh, our goals, change how people look at aviation, expand aviation beyond what it is. It doesn't have to be this macho thing that you brag about at a party. It should be common. Next, we'll tell you about a new light plane. Well, the, the Cirrus SR is... There's a new plane with a radical innovation. Well, it's called an SR for single reciprocating. Single reciprocating engine. The parachutes work for people. Why not planes? When we started designing that airplane, we're married, we had small children at the time. A company named Cirrus Design. That's just what's happening here at Cirrus Design Centers in Duluth, Minnesota. We wanted something very simple, easy to fly, safe. Cirrus has sold more than 600 SR-20 planes. And then the most important aspect, we wanted it to be comfortable enough that our wives wanted to go with. The company hopes that the parachute plane will reinvigorate a flagging small aircraft market. market. When the SR-20 first came out, the one thing that most early Cirrus owners will say is that they had to build in an extra 30 to 60 minutes wherever they went because so many people would come and talk to them about their airplane. July 29th, 1999, that first delivery, that first airplane, it was dramatically different than anything else that was out there. Growing up getting Flying Magazine in the mail and seeing SRs on the cover and stuff, they were beautiful looking airplanes. Next was the SR-22, going to 310 horsepower. We then introduced the PFD, the primary flight display, in 03. It was the final piece to say flying is safe, it's easy, it's intuitive. Each step that we take, the airplanes are better and more comfortable and more enjoyable. In 2010, we introduced the SR-22T, which is a turbocharged aircraft. And then within those three models, we started with the Generation 1, and in 2017, we introduced the Generation 6. This is my personal airplane. I still had that thrill of getting a brand new airplane. I love this. We spent 19 years refining the SR series. The airplane has changed drastically. Every thousand airplanes is a pretty big milestone. The milestones are, they're real. They're, they're important in the industry. Number one was a milestone, 100, 1,000. It was a, what we call the centennial edition to celebrate the 100th anniversary of the Wright Flyer. The next real big number was 5,000. Everyone remembers being there for the 5,000. 6,000 was also special. It's a pretty big accomplishment. All of us working together created this product that, uh, man, I'm excited and proud to fly in every day. You know, the creative process uh, for designing an airplane, you have to, you know, search for that purpose, that story, that inspiration. And so to do that, we have to look back at what we've done. And, and a lot has happened in 19 years since the SR launched. This year is going to be a big year. In 19 short years, we will have delivered 7,000 airplanes. In 2018, we're celebrating the 7,000 Cirrus aircraft, and we're commemorating it with seven uniquely designed airplanes for seven lucky Cirrus pilots, so that they too could be a part of the 7,000 story. I think the customer will be blown away by this aircraft. It's a mark in the sand of the best we could be at that moment. And one of the things that we really wanted to capture with the 7,000 was just movement, speed. It is just so aggressive bright pops of color, fast lines. We really wanted to create some beautiful graphics on the exterior that uh, were evocative of some of the fastest cars on the track. We looked at different aspects of a racetrack, the turns, the chicanes. We looked at air racing. We looked at the pylons and the, and the Red Bull air racers going through the pylons and their tracks. Oh, the interior is just spectacular. A lot of the interior design came from looking at where we could push the materials we had at hand. There's, there's little features everywhere in the interior which will catch you by surprise. We took the 
exterior elements, the colors, and brought them inside. The pilot and passenger seat have an asymmetrical design to them that is uh, unique to this airplane and hasn't been done before. The seats themselves have a perforated Alcantara with color showing through each one of those perforations. Alcantara is a micro suede that is used in high-end sports cars and race cars. It's great wear resistance for high wear areas where you're getting in and out of the airplane. The airplane is the starting point of that participation in the 7,000th celebration. But there's also the delivery experience, coming to Knoxville, staying at Blackberry Farm, getting your keys from Dale. The limited edition 7,000th is a story about progress, evolution, beauty, and invention. I'm incredibly proud of this team. 7,000 airplanes. We built 7,000 airplanes. There aren't many in general aviation that have done that. When someone sees the limited edition Cirrus 7000th for the first time, I want them to feel inspired, and I want them to know that this plane has been 19 years in the making. There's history here. There's longevity. There's the family tree, all the way back to a kit plane. And we want to invite you to be part of the story. The invitation to Cirrus is be a part of this experience. Be a part of the Cirrus life. Buy it and fly it. Go out and make a statement. We are incredibly lucky to be able to do this. You know, one of our goals was to change aviation. All the people that are there today and the people that have been with us in the past, we did. Thank you.